This is the Onion News Network, now with more attack satellites than any other network. In a dramatic scene last night, a coalition of the nation's damaged women staged a drunken, tear-soaked march on the Capitol just after 2 a.m. The Onion News Network's chief Washington correspondent, Jane Carmichael, has more. Jane. Thank you, Brooke. The damaged women began their protest yesterday afternoon, marching on the National Mall at about 4 p.m., and then marching away furious, saying they were done with Congress once and for all. But then they came back again late last night, insisting that someone in Washington listen to them for once. Congress, all we're asking for is a little bit of respect, a little bit of your attention. Nobody ever listens. I don't know why tonight would be any different. It's just plays into all of our abandonment issues. The late night protest started with tearful apologies, but quickly moved to anger as marchers demanded that Congress pass a bill, making it illegal to say you love someone and then up and leave as soon as there's one little problem. Why are you ignoring us? Stop ignoring us. Why don't you hear me when I talk to you? Wipe the smirk off of your face. No, come back. Come back because we, we think that you, we want you to care about us. I don't need to pay a therapist to tell me I'm unhappy. I know I'm unhappy. Following a very frank declaration from the women in which they opened up about the abortion they had when they were 17, Delaware Senator Tom Carper released a statement saying that Congress wasn't going anywhere and that they would do all they could to help the women. However, around 4.30 a.m., the women admitted that they had made up the abortion to get sympathy, then started cutting themselves while repeating, this is the love you deserve, over and over. That's when Capitol Police were called to break up the protest. Uh, I told them that they all had to vacate the area, and then they started yelling, you're just like my dad because you're trying to control everything. Uh, and then one of them said, I know you want to hit me, I can see it, just go ahead and do it, just hit me in the face, and then she started crying. This morning, the Damaged Women's Coalition released a statement denying that they had ever marched on Washington, claiming Congress was, quote, always trying to twist things around to make us look crazy. Brooke? Thanks, Jane. That story brings back a lot of memories. I won my first Pulitzer for my coverage of the historic Spa Day Summit between the Damaged Women and the nation's concerned sisters back in 1999.